This is a demonstration video of our new Subaru SSM2 gauge. It now has access to the SSM2 protocol, so you can see a lot more parameters than before. This gauge supports the 2005 through 2014 STI, 2006 through 2014 WRX. Basically, the the Subaru 32-bit 32-bit um, ECUs, and the Legacies and Foresters also will be supported. You can see our website, the application guide, for a full list of what is supported. Um, in order to see everything this gauge does, you would have to enable extended parameters, um, which just requires a simple uh, flash of the ECU that enables that. Most um, flash programs, programmers will do that. Um, and you'll need that to get just four or five extended parameters that need this. The other 20 plus don't. I'm going to start the car up, and you'll see the gauge boot up, and it's going to show you the ECU ID in a second, right there. That's good information to know, especially if you're going to do any programming on the car. Now it's just telling us the warning lights are on. Now we're in a normal scan mode, and um, we've enhanced the warning lights a little bit. You can see I got them set for RPM. They flash initially to get your attention, then they go solid. That's a new feature. Also, we have a peak recall. You can see peak values. Or whatever's on the screen at this time. And we've added some new displays, display modes. Hold the button beyond the peak recall. You get into uh, these new modes. This is this one in particular is a live graph, scrolling graph. It shows the two parameters that you just saw over about a 15 second period of time. And this, this graph can be um, paused if you want to take a closer look at what's going on. Or um, resumed. And this is a real neat... Uh, Little neat feature we've added. We've got a bar graph mode and uh, allows you to see four parameters at one time in a bar graph fashion. And we have a um, eight parameter screen. You can see eight, eight parameters that you've programmed through a menu option prior to this to get out. Just hit the right button, you're back to normal, your normal screen. Um, some of the parameters we've added are things like, uh, I mentioned a few before, but math, math volts, battery volts, um, I think I said current gear, target boost, um, you can read boost up to 28 pounds now. Um, it does a lot, shows a lot more than it did in the past. Um, we still have the cyclic scan. I'll show you that real quick. The we'll cyclic scan. You can view up to eight things automatically without hitting buttons. It just scrolls through on its own. In the menu, there's also a function to reset the ECU. We've been requested to add that. It resets all the learned values. Um, get basically puts the ECU back to uh, a default condition like it came from the factory. If I hit this button, we'll stop cyclic scan. It'll, it'll just stop on what was displayed. If you do buy a dual set, which I have in this car, the second gauge will be our original CAN bus gauge because you can't run two devices using SSM2 at the same time. Now this, the CAN bus gauge will have a limited number of parameter support but it does do a couple things that are nice. It will read and clear trouble codes, and it will have the zero to 60 eighth and quarter mile timers, which the SSM2 gauge does not have. But the main advantage of this new uh, SSM2 format is you have access to a lot more parameters now, a lot of specific things that guys want to see when they're tuning the car and monitoring uh, the performance. And that's, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.